in what sense do you think that we grow from letting go of what we are attached to? Hmm. I think you think you could answer real quick. Because Take in your a time, sense, really. Because in a sense, kind of like uh, leaving for university, because like you got to let go of, of your childhood in a sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, got to start taking care of yourself. It's like a milestone, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's a milestone once you leave, once you like start doing things yourself. Even the way you, you're taught in university, like, it's different. Okay, so, so, I mean, do you sort of see letting go in terms of yourself? But also, do you sort of see it as a, as a wider kind of thing, letting go? Like, letting go, coming to an end. Can you kind of relate that, perhaps, to, to, the, to, to the social world? In what sense, like? Because um, I, I, was, I was thinking that um, we can never kind of see growth, uh, personal growth, or letting go just in terms of ourselves because of like the fact that we are interconnected mm -hmm. so it's always like looking looking at things in turn like as in, in relation to the um degree it's kind of like it's something that affects all of us so you can't just see it in terms of yourself but you're seeing it in terms of this cohort like do, do you know what i mean does that make kind of sense so like how letting go affects other people yeah yeah. Oh, okay. Um, and how, yeah, and, and, and there's always that kind of thing in your head that it's not just me, but it's like other people that are in a, a similar situation, and it kind of like sparks thoughts that are connected mm -hmm. to others and to other events, and maybe past events as well in our, in our lives. So what have you found most pleasurable and most unpleasurable about going about coming to the end of our course degree? Um yeah, that well thinking in terms of what I've found most pleasurable, um like coming to the end, I think really it's about it's been about about learning really I mean just the fact that you know I've been able to think it's, it's an absolute kind of like privilege to have that time and space in which to think so um, so yeah so that's what I found most pleasurable um, in terms of me reflecting back over the three years um, and it's been just like great to meet new people and to hear all different kind of ideas it's just yeah and I think being that little bit older, I think you kind of like appreciate it because I've had such a huge gap from formal education. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of thinking about the unpleasurable bits, I think like it's a relief that we're coming to the end and that I'm not going to have to write essays. I've not enjoyed essay writing at all. Yeah, no, I, I feel you. <laughs> yeah. Can you can you relate to that? Yeah, I, can, I mean I don't mind doing it. It's just long, really. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's been hard because I've been out of full time, like, like I was saying, I've been out of it for so long. Um, and also there's always that kind of like, um, that thought of, oh, you know, I've got to be doing this, I've got to be doing that with the family. I tend to be like the one that does household stuff. So there's there's been quite a lot of pressure, really. Um, so, yeah, so that that's, that's what I found unpleasurable. But... There's another bit of me that says I'm going to miss it, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, so right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Actually trying to overcome the challenges. Um, so... Right, so I've spoken about the, um, like, you know, the pressure of the essays and the pressures of juggling stuff. Also, I've had, like, some health issues which have... Um, made things a bit sort of harder for me really um, but I'm really going to miss people 
that's so coming to the end of it and thinking about going forward yeah I'm going to miss seeing people because you kind of you, you, there's a real bond isn't there we've like come through this journey together as, as, as a group it's also like just coming in every you, you know it like every Tuesday that routine Thursday. yeah every Tuesday and Thursday you go into uni yeah. and you see the same people every time isn't it that's right yeah you and go to work it, it happens but it's not really the same is it yeah and that we've got a common there's that kind of common commonality I think mm-hmm. um, and it's yeah I just I'm really going to miss that um, so really I suppose there's always that thing that you can look forward to doing an MA afterwards at some point mm-hmm. Are you, are you thinking that way? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm attempting. I'm trying to get, in, to get to get into like a master's course myself. Sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get into a master's course myself. Yeah. I, what sort of thing are you thinking of? Well, coaching and data management. Because, funny and funnily enough, like um, I was gonna do something more computer sciencey, but like decided to go for psychosocial instead. And then I found out that like you can get a master's in data sciences without any background, um, uh, yeah, yeah. Without any background in like computer science and stuff. So I'm like, why not go for it? Why not? Yeah. Because at the end of the day, this degree is going to like help you in terms of your understanding of people and and like the wider world, and you can bring that into any sort of working environment. I think, mm-hmm. yeah. And also 